Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about a very important exam known as Bitset exam. Let's see what are the features of this exam. This exam is conducted by Bits Pilani. Uh, Bits Pilani is a very eminent institute in India, located in Pilani, Rajasthan. It was founded in the year 1964. It's a private deemed university with institution of eminence status. And it is the only private university in which a technology innovation hub is to be established by Department of Science and Technology. It has a 320 acres campus. Apart from Pilani in Rajasthan, it has other campuses that are located in Goa, Hyderabad, Dubai, and Mumbai. The NIRF, the NIRF ranking of this institute is 30 in India. And in the QS Asia ranking, it has secured a rank of 175 in whole of Asia. This institute has an acclaimed startup accelerated program, which is known as Conquest. So let's move ahead and let's see the different features of this BITSAT exam, popularly called as the BITS Admission Test. 2022. So it's a computer based online test. And this test is used to get admissions into the integrated first degree programs of Bits Pilani at Pilani campus, KK Birla Goa campus, and Hyderabad campus. So in this exam, a candidate can appear a maximum of two times. The exam is generally organized in two sets of dates. BITSAT session one and BITSAT session two. And these two tests are generally separated by a gap of a few weeks. For a candidate who has appeared twice in BITSAT 2022 and who seeks admission to any of the first degree programs in this BITS Pilani, the higher of the two scores will be considered. So you can give two tests and the test in which you will get the highest score that will be that will be considered for the admission. Now, each session of BITSAT 2022 will be of total three hour duration. It's a three hour exam. And the test session will consist of four parts. In the first part, there will be questions from physics. In the second part, there will be questions from chemistry. In the third part, there will be questions from English proficiency and logical reasoning. And in the last fourth part, there will be questions on mathematics or biology. So let's move ahead and see how many questions will be asked in this test. So there are about 130 questions in this test and the number of questions from physics will be 30. From chemistry also, there will be 30 questions. For English prof proficiency and logical reasoning, uh, 10 questions and 20 questions will be asked respectively. In the maths or biology, uh, section there will be 40 questions so in a way you can get 130 questions to answer in three hours now there is no time limit for the individual parts of the test so the candidate can go back and for example a candidate who's solving a physics question can go back to chemistry section and solve the questions so they can uh, change sections within the three hours of the test if any candidate suppose has answered all the 130 questions then they have an option of attempting 12 extra questions, but within the time left. In this exam, there is only one correct option. However, there is negative marking for your wrong answers. Every correct answer will fetch you three marks, but, on, but an incorrect answer will give you a penalty of one mark. So the syllabus of Bitset exam is similar to the NCRT syllabus for 11th and 12th class. However, one can go to the annexer section of the browser, which can be downloaded from the URL www.bitsadmission.com slash bitsat slash 2022 slash bitsat 2022march14.pdf. So you can click on this URL and download the detailed syllabus. However, the syllabus is similar to the NCRT. Now, what is the eligibility for this exam? So if you have passed 10 plus 2 with physics, chemistry, maths, and English, 
and got an aggregate of 75 percent or more when you add your marks of physics chemistry and maths as well as individually in each of these physics chemistry and maths you should have 60 percent or more then you are eligible for uh, sitting in this exam many of those who have opted for biology instead of maths they can also secure more than 60 percent marks in each of physics chemistry biology and if their aggregate of physics chemistry and biology is greater than 75 percent then they are also eligible for this exam the eligibility for b form that is bachelor's in pharmacy is that instead of maths you should have biology but there is a there is an option that those who have taken maths they can also apply for this exam and the eligibility criteria is same for example if you are in aggregate more than 75 percent of the marks in physics chemistry biology and maths then that's okay and but plus you have to also individually score more than 60 percent in each of physics chemistry maths and biology in case you have taken biology now only those students can appear for this exam who are either appearing for their 12th examination in the year 2022 or they have passed their 12th examination in the year 2021 those who have already qualified this exam and got admitted to any of the bits pilani bits campuses in Pil pilani goa or hyderabad they are not uh, allowed to reappear in this exam now there is uh, another criteria that if you are the top ranker if you have secured first rank in your board's exam whether it's central boards or state boards you will be given direct admission to the program of your choice so it doesn't matter what what is your score in BITSAC, but you have to be a topper in your board's exam to get direct admission into BITS Pilani or any of the BITS campuses in a program of your choice. Now let's go through what are the uh, some important dates. These dates are tentative. So the BITSAC exam uh, application form has been started on 14th of March. And the last day to apply for both uh, both the sessions of the bit set exam is 21st of May 2022. The first session exam will, will be held from uh, June 20 to June 26th. And meanwhile, those who have applied only for session one, they can also apply for session two between 23rd of June to 7th of July and give the uh, session second of the bit set test between 22nd of July to 26th of July, 2022. Now, let's go through what are the prescribed fees of this uh, filling the application form online. So you can go to the website www.bitsadmission.com to fill your application form. Uh, the prescribed fee for BITSAT 2022, that is 2022, for a candidate who chooses to appear twice, that is, Suppose there is a candidate who wants to sit in this exam for both the sessions. Then, if he is a male, male candidate, then he has to pay a sum of rupees five thousand four hundred. And if she is a female candidate, she has to pay a sum of rupees four thousand four hundred. However, you can sit for just one of the sessions, and the fee for just sitting in just one of the sessions will be three thousand four hundred for the male candidate and two thousand nine hundred for the female candidate. Moving on, uh, we can have a look at what are the programs offered at these BEATS campuses. So there is a program called Bachelor of Engineering, and you can see there is Chemical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Science and Engineering, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Electronics and Instrumentation Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, and Manufacturing Engineering. You must have heard about these engineering fields. So all of these are available to pursue at Bits Pilani and its other campuses. Now if we go through some other programs, there's a bachelor's in pharmacy that is also offered. And then we have this master of science in biological sciences, chemistry, economics, maths, physics. And there's an option for doing master of science in general studies also. Now for the candidates who will be choosing the master of science program they are also eligible to apply for the dual degree in engineering at bits pilani after they complete their first year in the msc course however this uh, admission will be based on their performance at bits 
Let's have a glimpse of BITSAC. What is the cutoff of BITSAC uh, 2020? Uh, there is a branch called Computer Science, which is the most famous branch, most pursued branch, I, I think. Uh, so for BE Computer Science at Pilani, the cutoff score for 2022 is 372. If you want to pursue Computer Science at Goa campus, the cutoff score is 347. If you want to pursue computer science at Hyderabad, the cutoff score is 336. Uh, if you want to pursue electrical and electronics at Pilani, then the cutoff score will be 333. If you want to pursue electronics and communication, then the cutoff score will be 320. Uh, this is at Goa campus. If you want to pursue uh, electronics and communication at uh, Hyderabad, then the cutoff score is 314. And for electronics and instrumentation at Pilani, the cutoff score is 323. So these are the most popular courses at the different BITS campuses. And you can see they, are, they have a very high cutoff because the exam is around, I think, 450 months. So let's look at some of the famous and notable alumni of BITS Pilani. Baba Sahib Neelkant Kalyani, he is a Padma Bhushan Awardee. He is the CMD of Bharat Force. Then we have Govardhan Mehta. He is the Padma Sri Awardee and he's an ex-director of Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. Then we have Aspi Kothari, Padma Sri Awardee. He's a, he, he was the deputy dean of MIT Sloan School of Management. We have Prathvira Chauhan, who is the former CM of Maharashtra. Vivek Paul was the former CEO of Vipro Technologies. And Sabir Bhatia is the co-founder of Hotmail. So if you want to dream high and get your name among the notable alumni of Bits Pilani, then you have to sit for the Bitset exam and hope you like this information. Useful. Thank you. Thank you very much.